Welcome sa part 6 ng ating Thermodynamics Lecture Series. Ayos mo ba kayo dyan, engineers? Alright, mag-ingay tayo! Alright, okay. So, ano? Oh, kayo mga kaibigan, ano? Ayos na ba kayo, ha? Ayan, ikaw. Uh, behave ka lang, ha? Ayan, behave ka lang, ha? Okay? So, ikaw naman, ikaw. Ako sa ka naman, uh, pam. Okay? So, pag may maingay, mamaya, uh, ito yon si Pam. Okay? So, huwag nyo na lang siya papasinin. Alright! Okay! So, sige. Uh, start na tayo ng ating thermodynamics lecture. So, ano po bang topic yung meron tayo ngayon? Let's go! Let's do this. So, oh! We have the ideal gas law or the perfect gas law. Okay. Ideal gas is defined as one in which all collisions between atoms or molecules are perfectly elastic and there are no intermolecular force attractive forces. Uh, ideal gases are gases whose compressibility factor is equal or very near to 1.0. So, pag sinabi natin, ano, uh, pag-aaralan pa natin to sa dynamics, pag sinabi natin perfectly elastic collision, uh, yung mga molecules, kapag sila ay nag- nag-collide, hindi sila nagtatagal. Ano, hindi sila uh, nag stick together. No. So, ang nangyayari, pag nag-collide sila, maghihwalay agad sila. Yun, di ba? Parang pinagtagpo, ngunit pinaghiwalay ulit. Pinaghiwalay ulit. Pinaghiwalay ulit. <laughs> so, pinagtagpo, ngunit pinaghiwalay ulit. Yun po yung perfectly elastic collision. Okay? So, dito meron tayong tatlong uh, formulas na prinesent si ideal gas law. So, first we have PV equals MRT. Ayan. Where P is the absolute pressure, V is the volume, M is the mass, R is the gas constant. So, ito nakadepende po siya sa uh, kung anong gas yung given. Okay. So, yung gas constant po natin. So, ito po yung formula niya. Ayan. So, gas constant is equal to universal gas constant all over the molecular weight or the molecular mass. No. Ayan. Then, T is the temperature in Kelvin. So, kapag yung R na yan ay pinansok natin sa first formula, ano mangyayari? So, gawin niya natin, game. We have PV is equal to M R bar all over the molecular weight or the molecular mass times T. And what can we say about this? No. So, we have M all over the molecular weight or molecular mass is what? Oo, tama. That is PV is equal to N R bar T. Or the second formula natin, ayan, so doon pala nandirive yan, ano, yung ating mole. Mole naman po, tapos meron tayong universal gas constant. Si universal gas constant is constant natin, 8.314 Joule per mole Kelvin. Saan po siya makikita? Sa calculator makikita din yan. Constant 27, I think. Constant 27. Ayan. So, 8.314 Joule per mole Kelvin. And then, the third formula is ano, PV cos NKT. Ito, hindi masyadong ginagamit. No. Where N is the number of molecules, K is the Boltzmann constant, and T is the temperature in Kelvin. So, ito, uh, one of the formulas na lahat ng constant ay matatagpuan mo sa Kali-Q. No. K is Boltzmann constant, constant uh, 20, ano, 25. If I'm not mistaken, constant 25. Yeah, Boltzmann constant. So, unit is Joule per Kelvin. R is constant 27, the universal gas constant. And A is the Avogadro's constant, constant 24. Okay. So, ayan po yung mga, ano, kailangan nating tandaan. 
So, yung dalawang unang formula, yung MRT tsaka NRBRT, ito yung mas ginagamit kumpara dito sa pangatlo. Mga gas constant na kailangan natin tandaan, ito, si 8.314 Joule per mole Kelvin. Check na check, lagi po dapat natin tanda. Then, we have BTU per pound mole Rankine 1.9859. Okay? Kailangan din sa ulo. And isa pang kailangan natin sa ulo is madali, madalas din gumag... Uh, lumalabas is 0 0.0821 liter atmosphere per mole kelvin. Okay? Ayan. So, pwede kayong gumawa ng mga mnemonics nyo para mas ma-tandaan uh, natin yung mga constant na yan. Okay! So, next tayo. Next, next, next. Ayan. So, punta tayo sa relationship between uh, CP, CV, K, and R. CP is the specific heat at constant pressure. So, CV is specific heat at constant volume. K is the specific gas ratio. And R is the gas constant. Okay? So, as we can see, ayan, tatandaan lang natin ang ating R in terms of CP and CV is just the difference between the uh, CP and CV. Oh, tandaan nyo lang, uh, mas malaki lagi si CP kay CV. And then, since K is specific gas ratio, it is the ratio between CP and and CV. Ayan. So, ako, hindi ko na sinasolo yung dalawang formula ng to. Ito. Itong R over K minus 1 at saka yung K R over K minus 1. Ito lang yung sinasolo kong dalawa. Ayan. Kasi kapag alam ko tong una at yung pangalawa, matik. Alam ko tong uh, third and fourth formula. Okay. So, ang gagawin ko lang, edi substitute ko lang. Maalin. Pag ang kailangan ko yung CV, Ito yung CP, kunin ko, KCV, tapos ipasok ko dito. Yun na yun. Hindi ko na kailangang i-manipulate. Okay? Same with the, ano, the other unknown. No? Pag kailangan ko naman si CV, edi kunin ko si, ano, uh, I mean, kailangan ko si CP, edi kunin ko si CV, K, uh, CP over K, then pasok dito sa kabila. Hindi ko na kailangan sa ulahin itong dalawang formula to. So, I suggest, ano, eliminate this formula. Sa so, kailangan yung tandaan, ano. Para, ano, mabawasan yung kailangan natin sa uluhin. Note! K is equal to 1.67 for monatomic gases, 1.3 for triatomic, 1.42 for diatomic. Ito naman is, hindi naman natin kailangan talagang, uh, ano, hindi masyadong nagagamit, solving, ano, just for ano uh, objective type questions no pwedeng lumabas okay so familiarize yourself oh, next yan so ito yung concept na ano una nating nadaanan sa ating part uh, part 5 ng lecture natin no so the internal energy enthalpy and entropy of an ideal gases so dito nilagay na natin yung mga formula sa kailangan natin tandaan Sabi natin, uh, internal energy is equal to MCV delta T. And that's why, ano, nilagay ko dun sa ating internal energy, uh, ang ginagamit niya is the constant volume. So, yun. So, in, in integral uh, form, that is MCV dt uh, from T1 to T2. Ano, integral of MCV dt from T1 to T2. Then, we have delta H, MCP delta T. So, that's integral of MCP dt from T1 to T2. So, tatandaan, enthalpy is constant pressure process. Uh, uh, internal energy is constant volume. So, madadaanan din natin yan sa mga, ano, sa mga processes, no? Sa mga uh, thermodynamic processes. And then last, we have the entropy. Change in entropy is equal to MC ln T2 over T1. Okay? So, lagi nating tatandaan, ano, yung mga nandito is dapat, ano, um, absolute temperature. No? Sir, ano to? Anong si to? Specific heat. Walang nakalagay kung ano, kung CV o kaya CP. Okay? 
So, depende po yan sa process. No. Mamaya, ano, uh, sa, sa next video lectures natin, ando na yung mga uh, processes. It can be isobaric, no, isothermal, isometric. So, nakadepende to yung C. So, kapag constant pressure yung process, eh, dito yung MCP, LNT, over T1. Kapag constant volume yung process, ito ay MCV, LNT, over T1. Yan lang po. No. Okay, so with that, uh, try na natin mag-solve ng ating mga questions. Okay, for number 16, determine the average CP value in kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin of a gas in if 522 kilojoule of heat is necessary to reach the temperature. Ba, ano yun? <laughs> okay, guys. To reach the temperature from 300 Kelvin to 800 Kelvin, making the pressure constant. Okay. So, pasaway yung mga dumadaan dito mga sasakyan. Okay. So, dapat wala yung degree. Edit ko lang ah. Kasi, absolute temperature yun. Okay. Hinahanap natin si ano, CP. Okay. Tapos, sabi dito, uh, pressure is constant. Ibig sabihin, this is a constant pressure process. Okay. And with that, uh, ha, binigay yung ating 522 kilojoule of heat. Eh, sabi natin, ano po ba yung heat na involved kapag constant pressure process? Ano? Ano yung energy? ba? Diba? So, tandaan sa ating formula, kapag constant pressure, CP, ano? Ang involved is si delta H. Or si change in enthalpy. So, delta H is M CP delta T or T2 minus T1. Alright. Ganun lang pala kasimple, sir. Oo, oh, oh, ano. Easy, easy lang tayo. Okay, game. Sabi dito, uh, 522 kilojoule of heat is necessary to raise the temperature. So, ito na yung ano, change in uh, energy. Okay? Or what we call the enthalpy. So, we use uh, 522 kilojoule. So, pag pinindot natin ito mamaya, nakakilo ha. Then, mass. Sir, walang mass na binigay. Paano yan, sir? Walang mass na binigay. So, pag walang mass na binigay, oh, we assume na value of 1 kilogram. Tatandaan nyo ha, pag walang mass, pwede tayo mag-assume na 1 kilogram. Sir, okay lang ba yun? Ano? Assuming tayo. Okay lang yun, guys. No. Oh, basta uh, basta dito pwede tayo mag-assume ano. Pero pagdating sa usapang ano, <laughs> usapang pag-ibig, diba? Pag tayo mag-assume kasi baka masaktan tayo. Alright. Okay, so game. Ano yung CP? Yan yung hinahanap, sir. Then delta T we have T2 minus T1. We have 800 Minus 300. Alright! So, pindot lang. Ano? Easy-easy lang to sa atin. Aha! <coughs> 522 kilojoule equals uh, 1 times CP times X. 800 minus 300. Chips of equals yan. 1,044. So, 1,044. Or, di ba? Ano bang CP? That is specific heat. So, anong unit nito? Yan. Ah! This is joule per, ano, joule per kilogram kelvin no. Oh, meron pala siya sinabi na unit which is ano nakakilojoule. So pwede pa lang hindi na natin to uh, i ano i times 10 to the 3. So that is 1.044 kilojoule per kilogram kelvin. Easy. Definitely the answer is A. Okay? So ganun lang po, easy lang tayo. Game, proceed tayo sa 70. What mass of nitrogen is contained in a 57 cubic meter tank if the pressure and temperature are 1 atm 
and 21 degrees Celsius respectively. So, kitang-kita na naman natin yung kailangan natin gamitin dito kasi given si pressure, temperature, meron tayong volume, hinahanap si mass, definitely the ideal gas law. Tama ba? Yes, sir. Game. We have PV equals M uh, R So, pag M siya, ano siya? Dapat pa R o R bar. Oo. So, M R T. R lang. Ano? And then, we have hinahanap si M. No? So, pasok lang natin. Ano, ano yung pressure? 180 M, sir. Eh, di ba? Kapag ganito yung usapan, kailangan natin naka SI units. No? So, we have 180 M times uh, 180 M is 1.013 times 10 to the 5 pascals. Then we have the volume 57 cubic meter. We have the mass, yun yung hinahanap. And we have the gas constant. So, gas constant is, ano, uh, R bar all over molecular mass or molecular weight. So, this time, ano yung R bar natin? We have 8.314 uh, joule per joule per gram Kelvin gram mole no gram mole kelvin so ano lang natin mole na lang yung ilagay natin so it can be gram mole or the or mole kelvin then we have the molecular mass sa sabi dito nitrogen ano okay so tatandaan natin nitrogen is what so, kung chemistry, di ba? Nitrogen ay hindi po sila nakakaalis ng mag-isa. Di ba? Hindi sila pwedeng lumabas ng mag-isa. Dapat sila ay may kasama. So, kung may kasama sila, dapat uh, si nitrogen dalawa. Pag nitrogen gas, dalawa po siya. Ang tawag sa kanya is diatomic element. So, dapat alam natin yung mga diatomic element. No. Hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen. Yan. So yung mga n, mm, mga ganun daw, mga n, mm, di ba? Okay? So hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, iodine. Ayan. Okay? So mga diatomic elements po 'yan. And then we have the molecular mass. So, sabi natin diatomic siya, de definitely dalawa. So, 2 times. O, oh, ano po ba yung molecular uh, mass ng ating nitrogen? So, alam naman natin uh, by approximation. Pang ilan bang nitrogen? We have hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen! Pang pito. And by approximation, that is the atomic number, times 2, yun po yung ating uh, atomic mass or the molecular mass. So, we have 14 grams per mole. Yan. And then, we have temperature, 21. Magkakalimutan, plus 273. Okay? So, ayusin lang natin. O, tama yung ating ano, pascal, cubic meter. Then, we have Kelvin cancel per mole. Yan. And then, we can, ano, kailangan natin mapansin to, yung grams. Gram should not be the ano the final unit for this ano. Kailangan po naka SI siya which is kilogram. So mamaya pag pinindot natin sa calculator, doon na lang natin ayusin na dapat kilogram siya. So definitely that is 14 times 10 to the negative 3. So tatandaan niyo ha. Okay. O, pindutin na natin sa calc. Aha. Uh -huh. So we have 1.013 <coughs> times 10 to the 5 times 57 equals x times uh, 
8.314. Then we have the 2 times 14. Ito yung sasabi ko, times 10 to the negative 3 dapat. Kasi nakagram siya, dapat kilogram. Okay? Yes, sir! Game! Uh, 21 plus 273. Alright! So, after we key in the values, ship sold! Equal 66.14. Okay, so, hindi sakto, pero, hindi nakamalapit. Pati lang naman. So, M is equal to 66.14 kilograms. So, definitely, the answer is letter C. Okay? Okay, proceed tayo sa 18. A 0.71 cubic meter tank contains 4.5 kilograms of an ideal gas. The gas has molecular weight of 44 and is at 21 degrees Celsius. What is the pressure of the gas? Again, ano, uh, this is again PV equals MRT lang din po. Wala pong pinag, pinag iba. Yun din yung gagamitin nating formula. We have PV MRT. Alright, game. Pasok. Pressure. Aha. Uh -huh. Yun yung tinatanong. In kilopascals, yung gusto nila. So, dapat puro SI unit tayo. Volume is 0.71. Mass is Wala sir Pero meron tayong ano Ay wala ba Meron meron pala 4.5 kilograms Inasume na wala agad eh Alright R Ito yung wala Ano Pero alam natin that is R bar all over molecular Wait So R bar 8.314 Joule per uh, Mole Kelvin all over 44 grams per mole. Again, yan po yung unit ni ano ni molecular weight grams per mole. Then we have 21 plus 273. Okay, let's go. Pindutin natin. Game. So we have 0.71. Okay. Hirap po na. Okay, so we have 8.314 ito. So, huwag nyo nga kalimutan, if 44 times 10 to the negative 3. Then, we have uh, 21 plus 273. Chips all. We have! Ayan, sir. Nakakilo daw. Gusto niya, nakakilo. Hey. Ayaw. Ayan. We have 352.09. 352.09 kilo pascals. Okay, meron tayo nyan? Meron tayo nyan? Yes, sir. Letter B. Okay. Alright. Let's proceed to the gas laws. So, nauna na yung ano, uh, ideal gas law or the perfect uh, gas law. So, here we have the Boyle's law. In a confined gas, if the absolute temperature is held constant, the volume is inversely proportional to the absolute pressure. Take note, ano? Pag boils law, temperature. So, tandaan nyo lang, boil. Diba? Boil, parang bumubulak. Mainit, o di temperature. Alright. Ayan. So, ang tandaan nyo yung constant, ano? So, absolute uh, temperature is constant. And therefore, so, P1, V1 equals P2, V2. Sir, paano ba yan na ano, matatandaan at paano yan na-derive? Kailangan alam natin kung saan na-derive. At napakadali lang po, ang, ang derivation yan ay sa PB is equal to uh, MRT. Ganun lang pala kasimple, sir. Yes. Diyan po lahat na-derive. So, anong gagawin natin? No. So, ang gagawin natin, since constant po yung ating temperature, no, lahat ng nasa right side, constant. Lahat nas, nasa left side, yun yung variables. So, in this case, PB equals MRT. Si temperature ay constant. So, hayaan na natin siya dyan. So, ano mangyayari? Constant lahat yung nasa right side, we can say that is 
PV is equal to K. And pupunta na tayo dito sa ating equation. P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2. Okay? Ganun lang po kasimple. Next, Charles Law. Pag Charles Law, sino naman pong uh, constant? Sabi dyan, pressure is held constant. Yan. At kung si pressure yung constant, pag inayos natin yung ating equation, si pressure ililipat natin sa kabilang side kasama ni MR. Kasi si MR lagi yan constant, no? So, ano mangyayari? Again, ito. We have, nilipat natin sa kabilang side yung pressure. Tsaka yung temperature naman, hindi na siya constant. Ilipat natin sa left side. So, pag ginawa natin yan, ayan. Si temperature lipat dito. So, ano mangyayari, sir? V over T is equal to uh, MR all over P. And this part is constant. So, V over T is equal to K. And that's why, ito na yan. V, V1 over T1 equals P2 over P2. Easy. The third one is the gay loose law. Ano naman daw yung constant? The volume. So, paano ito lumabas? Dito ulit tayo pupunta sa ideal gas law. So, kung volume yung constant, ilipat natin sa right side. So, makakasama na naman siya si MR. Ano? MR over V. Tapos, yung temperature naman, baba naman sa kabila, sa left side. Okay, game. Try natin, ha? So, pressure. Tapos, bumaba yung temperature sa denominator. Then, ang natira sa right side ay MR. And, yung lumipat na V. And, we all know, MR over V is also constant. Therefore, we have, ito na. P1 over T1 equals P2 over T2. So, mahalaga na alam nyo, pinanggalingan nila. Alright? Para mas madali natin sila matandaan. So, pag ganito kasi yung sinaulo natin, ay medyo, ano tayo, um, malilito din tayo. Although, mas ulo mo siya, kung hindi mo alam siya kung saan ang galing, yari ka pa rin. Game. Ito, pinagsama-sama na nila. No? The general gas law or the combined Charles and Boyle's law. Each one of these laws Uh, states how quantity varies with another if the third quantity remains unchanged. But if the three quantities change simultaneously, it's necessary to combine these laws in order to determine the final conditions of the gas. So, paano na yan? Nakuha, sir. Ganun ulit. Ano? So, balik tayo. PV equals MRT. E sabi natin, walang constant sa PV at T. E yun, nangyari ay PV all over T is equal to MR. And that MR is the only constant. So, we can say that is K. Ayan. Diyan na naman ang galing yan. P1 V1 over T1 equals P2 V2 over T2. And take note sa paggamit ng ating mga gas loss formula. Take note the pressure and temperature, temperature must always be absolute value. Ayan. Okay? Next. Uh, Avogadro's law, ito naman, hindi masyado siyang ginagamit sa ano, uh, computation. Sabi lang dito, at equal volume, at the same temperature and pressure conditions, the gases contain the same number of molecules. Ayan. So, ratio ng masses is equal to ratio ng molecular weights. Or, can be the ratio of the gas constants is equal to the ratio of molecular weights. Okay? So, yun lang po, ano, kailangan na nating um, tandaan yung mga formulas and to, to easily memorize those formulas, kailangan natin ng foundation kung saan siya nanggaling. Alright, game 19. A volume of 450 cubic centimeter of air is measured at a pressure of 740 millimeters of mercury absolute and a temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. What is the volume in cubic centimeter? At 760 millimeters of mercury absolute and 0 degrees Celsius. So, dito, binigay volume, pressure, and temperature. Uh, pressure, temperature. Okay, so tatlo pala yung binigay. No? And definitely, kung tatlo yung binigay, walang constant. No? And di easy-easy lang. Anong gagamitin? Okay, the combined gas law. So, here we have P1, V1, over T1, equals P2, V2, over T2. Okay, pasok natin ha. Dapat mga absolute value yan. Okay, una, pressure 1. Ayan sir, 740 mmHg absolute. Wala na problema, naka-absolute. Game. 
Ebony 40 MMHG B1 450 cubic centimeter. Sir, kailangan pa ba nating ESI yan? Depende kasi. Ito kasi more on ratio. So, kung more on ratio siya, magkakansel lang din yung mga units na yung pagdating sa huli. So, tingnan mo natin, ano, para mas makakita natin. Then, temperature is 20. Guys, huwag nyo kakalimutan magdagdag ng 273 dyan. Kasi, oo, uh, naka-absolute yan dapat. Next. P2. Ano P2 natin? 760. MMHG. V2. Oy, V2. Wala, sir. Yun yung hinahanap. Temperature 2, 0. Plus 273. Ayan. Yan yung, ano, matik na kitang-kita mo, dapat mag-273 ka. Eh, kasi 0 yan, eh. Oh, Mag-ano mag yan? Mag-undefined yan. So, game. V2 na tayo. Hanapin natin si V2. <coughs> okay. So, we have uh, 7.40. Four fifty twenty plus two seventy equals seven sixty x two seven three ship sold equals four hundred eight point twenty five. Meron ba tayo niyan? So we have four hundred eight. Point twenty five cubic centimeter. All right, letter A. Easy, easy lang tayo. Okay, yes sir. So next, next problem na tayo. Twenty. An air bubble rises from the top, uh, from the bottom of a well, where the temperature is at twenty five degrees Celsius to the surface when where the temperature is twenty seven degrees Celsius. So ano dapat? Pumula sa malit na bola tumaas siya sa pinakamat uh, sa surface ng tubig na nasa well. No. Ang tanong, find the percent increase in the volume on the bubble. Bubble? <laughs> bubble. If the depth of the well is 5 meters, <laughs> atmospheric pressure is 101.528 kilopascals. Okay, drawing natin. So, suppose this is the well. So, 5 meters. So, let this be 0.1. Let this be 0.2. So, una. Mm -hmm. Temperature daw ay 25. So, T1 is equal to 25 degrees Celsius. And then, we have T2. Surface ay 27. Okay. Wait lang. Ah, natin dyan ilagay yan. Bura, 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 bura. Oh, nabura pati yun. May illustrate kasi tayo. So, T2 is equal to 27 degrees Celsius. Okay, sabi dyan, gano, ano daw yung percent increase in the volume of the bubble? Ano ba yung tendency na yan? Ano? Halimbawa, yung bubble nagsimula dito sa pinakamalalim na part. Yan. Ano meron sa pressure sa, pin sa malalim na part? Mataas o mababa? Definitely, mataas. Ano? So, kung mataas yan, and air is compressible, ang tendency niyan, makompress yan. Ibig sabihin, maliit lang yung, yung air bubble na yan sa simula. And then, habang tumataas yan, mapapansin mo na, ano, lumalaki yung bubble. Yan. So, ang tanong, gaano kalaki daw yung, ano, uh, percent na inilaki ng bubble kumpara dun sa 0.1. No? Okay. Oh, ano pa bang kailangan nating tandaan? Meron tayong temperature. Ayun, oh, may pressure dito sa surface. So, kung atmospheric pressure is 101.528 kilopascals, ito din yung pressure at 0.2. So, 
to P2, 101.528 kilopascals. Okay. Ano pa ba? Uh, ha? Meron ba tayong volume? Yun. Yun yung hinahanap, sir. Ano? Increase in the volume. So, ibig sabihin, may V1, may V2. Kaya nga lang, ang mangyayari is the relationship between V2 and V1. Yun yung makukuha natin. Ano? V2 in terms of V1. Kasi hinahanap dito is the percent increase. Okay. Ang problema sa atin, wala pa tayong P1. Ayan. Ay, sir, paano yung P1 dyan? O, take note. Asan yung point 1? Nandito sa ilalim, sir. So, kung meron tayo dito sa ilalim, ibig sabihin, may pressure siya na natatanggap due to the water, due to the fluid. And at the same time, may pressure din siya na natatanggap dito sa ating atmospheric pressure. So, definitely, ano, P1 is just the sum of our atmospheric pressure and our pressure due to the fluid. Or ano yon? That is the uh, gauge pressure or the formula for gauge pressure is rho GH. Where H is the depth. Okay, so pag inayos natin yan, we have uh, 101.528 kilopascals plus density. Ano yung density ng water? We have 1,000 kilogram per cubic meter. Then we have 9.81 meters per second square. Then we have H, the depth, 5 meters. And so, sige, kunin muna natin si, ano, si P1. So, we have 101.528 kilopascals plus 1,000. So, hindi na natin i-kilopascals muna. Ah, sige, i-kilopascals natin siya. Plus, uh, 1,000. Uy, hindi nga rin. Plus, 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 Ay. 1,000 times 9.81 times 5 equals yan so ito na kuha natin 155.78 no, we have 150.578 or 150.578 kilopascals ayan so, kompleto na tayo. Meron na tayong P1, P2, T2, T1. So, V2 and V1 is relationship yung kailangan natin. Game. So, we will be using the combined gas law. Wherein, we have P1, V1 over T1 equals P2, V2 over T2. Game. Pressure 1. Aka absolute na yan, 150.578. Mga cancel din siya mamaya. Hayaan na natin. We have V1 over T1 which is uh, 91. 25 plus 273 equals P2 101.528 V2 We have uh, T2 is equal to 27 plus 273. So, dito kailangan natin mo is V2 over V1. Ayan. So, V2 over V1, ibig sabihin, uh, uh, ayusin natin to. Para makuha yung V2 over V1 is PT2 PT2 over P2T. So, okay, ayusin natin. Ito, pwede natin siya pindutin dito. Kunin lang natin yung uh, ratio ng V2 at V1. So, pag pinindut natin siya sa calculator, we have P1. What is P1? 150.578. Then, we have T2. T2 is what? Uh, 27 plus 273. O 
all over P2T. Ano yung P2? 101. 0. 0.528. 0. 0. 0.528. Times uh, T1. 25. Plus 273. Equals. Ayan. 1.49. Yung kanilang ratio. So, with that. Ano? 1.49 ang ratio. So, as we can see, ang tinatanong is the percent increase in the volume of the bubble. Ibig sabihin, pwede natin sabihin, V2 is equal to 1.49 V1. And kitang-kita na natin yung sagot. Ano, we have 49. Or we can say that we have uh, 49% increase. No, or the correct answer is letter B. Yan. Okay. So, kung gusto nyo ano, uh, yung exact na ano, na solution para mahanap nyo yun, just ano, V2 minus V1 all over V1 oh, times 100. Makukuha nyo yung 49.3%. No? So, V2 minus V1 all over V1 times 100. Okay. Pero, by simply inspection, makikita mo na naman, ano, 0.49, yung nadagdag, or 49%. Alright? Okay, so that's all for our uh, part 6 ng ating thermodynamic lecture series. And, again, ano, uh, thank you, uh, future engineers, and kita-kita tayo sa ating part 7. Bye-bye! Alright! Bam!